then if I've got an x here which means even here at the end I can say x and x so now we are going to do this I record the strainness this side with this one then I hold this one steady I push it so that I get point one this side and push it to point two there it goes point three which is the center then point four there you go point five there you go point six which is the last one there you go so I'm taking this point where to this line to this one of mine so six a zero which is this one it's already there it goes then point one point two point three then after if you are done with that you go back to your apex point you place your drawing compass here further extend till there this was zero you've done it isn't it this zero so point one which is next to zero very next to zero there you go take it up try to zoom it up for you like this this is it isn't it then now you go back to your front view you put your drawing compass there by your apex point you go to point two zero one point two in line with ten which is this one nine ten is this one then from there there you go take it there you go there you go there you go then go back to, then you take point three which is your center then you take it as a center there you go there you go you draw it as a center then you come point four it's this one apex to point four okay so there you go Then point five. There you go. Point five. Then point six. Point six, which is the last one. So there you go. This one so this one is must come in just extend it a little bit six which is the last one so after you've gotten your points your lines like this so what what we're doing here by taking these lines like this let me show you right from your textbook PSSD PSSD textbook this step that we're doing we're doing this step you see this step so you see that they took they took these lines this step that we just we're just doing it now is this one then placing your compass here then point six you firstly take them horizontally towards so that you get their true length you understand so that's how that's what we were doing here that's what we were doing here then from there then now by placing your drawing compass at your apex point then you get them like this you understand so the point two, one which is the first one so it's going to intersect with what with the point one there by your what by your by your 
your development so this is the line of one so i've got the point one there you understand so this is the what this is the line of one there it is the it is which is this one so two which means i'm two i've got one zero one two so i'll know that is the third line if you cannot trace it two this is two there it is there it is there it is we know that the uh, 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 is the center which is this uh, uh, hidden isn't it so below the center is point two which means intersecting with what with the line two there so that was going to your apex point so i've got a point there you understand so go back to to our front view three which is the center that is why i used to say throw it as a center so that you know what you've got three lines before the center three lines after the center and the point three and nine they are they are they are in a a center line which is long short long short long short so even here we throw it as such so must intersect with what with three so which means i've got a point right there understand so four which is above the center is this one that goes from there this is point four this is my center which means this you understand point four five is this one that goes from there goes to your development above this is four which means this is five intersecting with what with five six in line with what with a uh, the center which is the last one so from six descending now it will be the repetition of what you did we know that point seven is in line with five which means i've got a point here and i've got a point here the nine in line with three which is the center 10 in line with 2 1 in line with 11 which is this one which is this one then there you go there you go so that's how we get our development so now you can join it using your free hand your flex cave there you go so there you go so there you go understand so now i can join my points there you go like this we go so like this we've gotten our development so the development of our comb so this is the line of penetration that help us to get the development so now we can get the development of the cylindrical pipe which is this one so how by taking these points uh, horizontal with your T-square so now I'm going to just take these points so now I can see what my development is going to fit this side so I can take them horizontal straight there you go They go faint, isn't it? So which means from this side, coming this side, I can have the what the development. So this one. So this is right from the from your from your front view line of penetration. This is X, there it goes, isn't it? So now zero, you take this point, there it goes. 0 1 that goes 2 that goes 3 the center I draw it as a center so that I don't get confused 3 is the center I draw it as such then 3 4 that goes 5 and the six it seems to be in the same line with what with four same line with four six a uh, four same line with six five on top of four
4 and 6 you understand so now I come to my development site then I'll decide to start my development right here and then I'll decide to call this a Zillow so now I come to the auxiliary of the cylindrical pipe and get this I place my drawing compass at 3 and 2 equal sides right 3 and 2 this is it now I come to my development and mark this is 0 1 2 3, 4, 5, <coughs> 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 0. There must be 12 equal space, isn't it? So now, I can have this if that there you go go there you go it's about that time they are going to sleep now They go the last one which is zero so three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven but to zero so now we know without fear or favor from from zero to zero we must have a solid line from here to there why? Because of even here we can see it from this, uh, 6 to 0 is a solid and we are told good from here to there is a cut it. It's a X, X and the X which means it's right here and yeah so which means again I must have a solid line from here to there. So even at the end I must have the same the end so 0x x so again from here to there the solid line so okay now we know what, if this is my zero so a zero must intersect with the zero so this is one two three four five six isn't it so a one which is on top of the line of zero must intersect with the one this is the line of zero this one check right there it goes isn't it this zero is actually start coming from your auxiliary uh, top there it goes from here once it touches the line of penetration it goes horizontal so it's going to intersect with this zero okay we're having a point there so a point one must intersect with point one is it then point two this is two eh? must intersect with what with point two there it is then point three which is the center must intersect with point three of the side which is this one then point four intersecting with what with point four there it goes which means is a uh, this one this one then point five which is upper must intersect with what with five and the six in line with four you understand so six back to to a uh, six uh, descending now up until you reach point zero it will be the vice versa of what we did here so which means five and seven they'll be in line and then eight in line with four nine in line with three 
10 in line with 2, 11 in line with 1, and then 0 in line with 12. So now you can have it like this. There you go. Like this. Down you go. So that's how we get the full development. So thank you very much guys for watching. I'm tired, I've exhausted already. Thank you very much for watching. That was Mr. Kosi. See you on the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Don't watch without liking, without uh, subscribing. So see you on the next video. That was Mr. Kosi for you. That was PSSD. See you on the next video. PSSDN1, remember?